Okay. Hi guys, we got another great fly for us today. For you. Um, in the vice, this is a nymph, by the way, in the vice, I have a 2x long nymph hook. <coughs> Size, so you can go from 10 to 14 on this one. You know, so many different sizes. Today, I'm tying this in a size 12. That's what I usually fish it in. Okay, I already put 8 to 10 wraps of .20 lead wire. .20 lead wire, like I've said before, is very versatile. And I got about two, two eyes away from the hook. And that's how much I want to... Two eyes length away from the eye of the hook is... Uh, about how much room I want to leave. So then, just tie down this lead in the usual fashion. So, move your thread to the end of the hook. Take super glue, put that right on your lead. Okay. Take a little all of dubbin or black, doesn't matter. You're just gonna make a little ball to help splay out these uh goose bites. Just a dub a little is all of hair is here. And if anything's splaying out of it, just prick it off. Okay. Next, you can grab a goose or duck. This is actually a uh, um, snow goose fiber. Very black wind tip. So it looks, it has just a touch of purpley ish slash bluish on it. You'll see what I mean. This stuff. I don't think they sell the natural stuff in stores. I think you gotta go out and shoot it. Which is, of course, what I did. Snow goose hunting. It tastes fine. I mean, they're not as great as a pheasant. What I'm struggling with here. Just making those tips level. You want them about half as long as the body, as long as a regular nymph, um, shank hook, hook shank, okay, want those to be fairly, fairly long, nice and well biased so you can just break them off, that's what I do. Okay, next, I have some scud back, one fourth of an inch light olive. Why do you want one fourth? Well, I know they sell one eighth, but one eighth is too narrow for the shell back. You're going to do sort of a wrapped body on this one. So you're going to cut off inch and a half to two inches. It's one fourth stuff. And you know, I switched scissors to this long, razor sharp, craft, cheapy scissors thingy I bought at Michael's. And I'm just going to split one fourth of an inch of scud back, all of scud back, down the middle, just with my scissors. You get one eighth of an inch. Could buy one eighth, but if you want to tie it cheaply and if you want to make every material count, just buy the one fourth and a couple of colors. So split down the middle until you get something like this, which is one eighth of an inch. Tie it down, stretching it. 
Okay, take some mono rib, just this is a regular six pound has mono tippet material. It's in like a brown color. Very nice looking. Okay, next dubbing. I'm using sort of like a light brown um color dubbing. I'll check to see exactly what color this is. This is a medium cinnamon color. Sort of makes you just a little hungry there. Okay, so I'm gonna dub this very very lightly. Medium cinnamon seals for dubbing. This did not dub all that well, so I neglected to put just a little wax. Now I whipped out the wax here. This honestly dubs a lot better with wax. Just gonna. Dub until about halfway up the lead. Okay. At this point, you see all this fuzz? Seals for a does. Just gonna trim that off. Now I picked seals for because it has sort of a shimmer to it. I know you could use artificials. I have artificials. But I sort of do like to stick to gold seals dub when you can. So you're just going to wrap your olive scud back. And, and you can see, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, I can. The nice variation. It's sort of like a darkened brown. And when the water, if the doubling gets wet, it's going to change color like all the wind. Get slightly darker. This is going to look just like a nice stonefly nymph or any other nymph. I, you know, I tie these nymphs. I've seen the nymphs. I don't really know what their name is. Um, this is a version of a lake. It's called Lake Stone. What I think it's called. It's found in non stream fed lakes. This is very similar similar very, very much alike to the lake nymph I tied. In fact in fact they're trying to imitate the same thing. This is just a little more realistic. That one is more for well catching a lot of bass or a trout something like that I rid my mono up fold it back to tie it off okay I said you're gonna have to use the 1 fourth inch width to pull your shell back so I just took a little section I'm gonna make a little triangle is a very good synthetic material. This scud back. You know, every tire should have some of this stuff. I'm not advocating for hairline, but probably stole it from the cat craft industry, which hey, cool with that. So I take so next I take a wide or large Pearl mylar tinsel. Just tie that right on top. And next, dubbing. I'm actually going to continue this on to part two.